going to be a really fun concept to use. Let's mess with the seventh chord for a minute. Just an E7 chord. Let's put it in a row where we do the, the fifth, the seventh, and the root with the root on top. And you get a chord something like this. There it is as a minor seventh. But let's move that third up, and it becomes a dominant seventh. Let's have a little more fun. Let's take that fifth, and instead of putting it on the bottom, let's put it on the top, taking the chord apart. you get the idea. Now taking the chord apart is not only effective on simple chords like an A minor 7th, but you can use it, you know, in transition chords or as chords move along. We're going to take a simple chord progression. C major 7 to a B flat over C to an F major 7 D minor 9 F major over G to a G chord. Very simple progression, very, very simple chords. Now, if I were just going to strum along and not take the chords apart, it might go something like this. Play that same thing again, only this time taking the chords apart just as we did on the A minor 7th chord, using some thirds, some fourths, some octaves maybe, some sixths, some single notes, and just kind of sliding around a little bit. So as I play, watch for the intervals derived directly from the chords that I'm playing. Once again, the chords are C major 7, B flat over C, F major 7, D minor 9, an F major over G to a G major chord. I'm going to take it apart. Here we go. Just like that. Very simple, just taking the chords apart, adding a few substitutions here and there, deriving all the notes, the fourths, the fifths, the sixths, the single notes, the thirds, and the octaves from the chords that you're playing. I'd like to address a chord that might be considered non-traditional in funk guitar playing, but you're definitely going to run across it, and that's the 13th augmented 11th chord. Not a very complicated chord, but you might go, wow, how do you take that apart? You take it apart the same way you would take apart any chord like an A minor 7. Just analyze it in, it in its basic form, one note at a time. You have the root, the G, the third, B, augmented 11th, C sharp, 13th, which is the E, E natural, and also the seventh you can use. And because it's basically an extended dominant chord, 
you can also use the ninth, which is the A. So I put together just a little progression, a little short thing, and you can hear a little way that you can take the chord apart. This is going from D minor 9 to the G13 in augmented 11, and then we're going to throw in a A7 plus 5 for good measure. It goes a little something like this. chord apart and make it work in a rhythm context.